there are many examples of electric circuits in electric vehicles, as you might imagine. One important example that we will discuss here as a motivating sort of reason why we would want to be able to model and analyze circuits are, power, are the power electronics in the vehicle. In particular, we will look at uh, DC to DC converters. DC stands for direct current, and it represents uh, circuits where the voltage is constant, i.e. Uh, voltage from a battery or some source like that. A DC to DC converter, in essence, tries to change the level of the DC voltage. It tries to raise the voltage from a DC source or lower the voltage from a DC source, at least approximately or on average. One such example for where this is necessary is in charging a battery. In general, in order to charge a battery, the, the voltage being applied to the battery needs to be higher or larger than the open circuit voltage of the battery. If we had a situation where we had a braking event, you know, we have regenerative braking that's driving a generator, which is in turn generating voltage, we wouldn't be able to charge the battery for small braking events because the, the voltage would be too low. But what we can do is we can use a step up or a boost converter in order to increase the voltage, step the voltage from the generator up to a high enough level that it can actually charge the battery. Another example of where a boost converter could be used is that it enables the, the electric motor, the traction motor in an electric vehicle, which tends to be high voltage, to be powered by a lower voltage battery. This ability, having a lower voltage battery, uh, allows the battery to be smaller and lighter. Um, and then its output is just stepped up using a boost converter to a sufficient level that it could actually drive the electric motor. As a very basic or rough intro to how a boost converter works, um, here's, a, here's a picture. The idea, again, is we have some supply, supply voltage and this boost converter, which is in between, we're going to use to increase the voltage, the supply voltage to a level such that the, the voltage across the battery is on average sufficiently high that we can actually charge the battery. And so the way that it works is that we close this switch, and when we do that, the current flows through the circuit in this manner. We call this sort of the on state when the switch is on or closed. And as it does that, as the current is flowing through the inductor like this, the energy stored in the inductor increases. When the switch is then opened, this is an open circuit and current can't flow this direction any, any longer. And so the current flows through the outer loop. So this is called the off state when the switch is off or the switch is open. By controlling, so and when that is done, the energy that's been stored in the inductor is then released. And by changing, by opening and closing this switch, we can, in essence, change the average voltage across the battery in order to step it up, in essence. Another application of where a DC to DC converter could be used is it to enable low voltage appliances like pumps and fans and things to be driven by a high voltage battery, i.e. the battery used for driving the traction motor in an electric vehicle. And so since the accessories are very low voltage and the traction battery is very high voltage, we need what we call a step down or a buck, conver buck converter in order to, to lower the voltage. The way that this converter roughly works is that, again, we have similar sort of structure with a switch. You close the switch. When you do that, this diode is reverse biased, so current doesn't flow that direction. It's unable to flow that direction. So the current flows through the outer loop, through the accessory. And this is called, you know, this is the on state. 
energy is increasing, is being stored in this inductor. When the switch is then opened again, the supply is in essence disconnected from the accessory. So no voltage comes, no current comes from the supply any longer. And what happens is that current just cycles in this inner loop. And again, by changing the the way that the switch is opened and closed, we can decrease, make the voltage across the accessory be on average at a lower voltage than the supply voltage. So these are some, you know, very rough introduction. Um, at this point, we will go ahead and, and choose the the boost converter and, and uh, analyze it in more detail.